Happy Tuesday, Silks. So in case you don't know, I'm going to audition for Rent at Clark College. Now, this is my first college show that I'm auditioning for, so I have no idea what the competition is like, but I'm still going to do it anyways. But what I wanted to talk about, since I'm going out to do this, is audition tips for anyone new to acting or who wants to get better. The audition is probably the most important part of trying to get into a show. I mean, preparation and all that is fine, but I mean, if you don't do well in the audition, but you do well at practicing for the audition, I mean, there's there's just no way. You, There's no way. So, tip number one. I watched an interview with Jim Parsons uh, probably about a year ago. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Jim Parsons is, if you ever watched The Big Bang Theory, he plays Sheldon. In any case, in that interview, he gave me, well, not me, but he told the interviewer some information that I've really taken to heart in the last few years. And that was, the audition is potentially your one chance. So just go in there, give it all you've got, because guess what? You might not get another chance to try and uh, make your mark. So yeah, just go into your audition, do the best that you can do, despite however you're feeling that day, because I know I usually end up getting sick right before an audition, or, you know, just, if you're having a bad day, it's okay, just push through it, and do the best you can the first time. Tip number two! As with a lot of things in life, confidence is crucial. If you go on that stage to audition, and you look anything but confident, the casting director is going to pick up on that like that. And it's really hard, because I know I get super nervous when it comes to the audition. But, I mean, you know, it's one of those things you have to deal with, and I've gotten a lot better over the past couple years. So a lot of that can be done with posture, uh, strong movements, Confident singing, if you have to do some of that. As far as dancing goes, which is easily my weakest of my triple threat. Just try and learn as fast as possible. Show that you have at least halfway decent form. And that you are relatively light on your feet. You don't have to be one of them, you know, fancy schmancy dancers. Shannon Chung. To get a good dancing part. Just remember, confidence is key. Tip number three! I know in most auditions they have you read some kind of a monologue, whether it's one you've uh, prepared beforehand, or if it's one that they give you to read. If you're doing the reading in a large group, go like eighth in line. And I say eighth as just kind of a median guess because uh, usually there's about 16 guys there when I'm auditioning for stuff, because, let's face it, we need more guys doing theater in the world. But by going 8th, if you are hearing the other people read, you're given at least 7 chances to hear different ways of reading the particular piece of literature. And that can give you a sense of how you want to read it, and how you think it should be portrayed. Also, you can add your own inflections to make it sound either more natural or more like the character, but you just want it to sound professional. And you want it to sound clean and with a lot of diction, enunciation, and presence. If you don't have presence on stage, no one's going to pay attention to you, and the director probably won't want you in the first place. Tip number... Four. As I said before, I often get sick right before an audition, so one of the best tips I can give you is just take care of your health the whole week before an audition. Eat really good food, get lots of sleep, rest your voice, especially if you're going to be singing. Don't party too hard, because that means you'll just be out late and your voice will be tired. Eat lots of green food. Not moldy, but green. Drink lots of tea, 
and just do other things that are really, really good for your body. Because if everyone else is auditioning in top form and you're sluggish, I mean, your, your chances of getting in the show have kind of diminished quite a bit. Tip number five! This is actually some advice that came from a guy named Slim Pickens, who was a Western actor way back in the day. He was in, like, Doctor Strangelove uh, and Blazing Saddles. But one of the best acting tips he has given, at least to me personally, is very simple on the surface, but as an actor it's really, really hard. What he says is, every time you get the chance, sit down. And that makes so much sense to me because, I mean, as an actor, you're constantly going, constantly doing things, and you don't really get a chance to just relax and take a deep breath. It, it doesn't come out that often, really. So if every chance you get, you just take some time, have a seat, take, take a load off, take some deep breaths, relax a little bit, your audition's gonna go a whole lot better. And that goes for actually being in shows, too. So there you have it, my five tips to have a really, really good audition. If you have any more, uh, put some down in the comments. I would love to read them, especially because my audition's on Saturday. Ah! Jimmy, I loved your video from yesterday. I will make sure to add those questions to my list of questions that I will answer in my next questions video. Once I hit probably 50 really good questions, I'll go ahead and make it, so give me more questions in the comments. I find one of the best ways to get topics for making videos is just to go to Google and type in random topic generator and find a good one and just get a random topic and start talking about it. Silky and Jimmy, thank you for all your hard work in these past few videos. I'm really enjoying this and I think we make a really good team. So keep it up, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to be awesome.